So watercolor and pastel, what's that all about? Well, maybe I can give you some background to this idea and uh, tell you a little story. My first, uh, I would call real watercolor painting. Well, this is the one behind me in this frame over here. Well, up until the time I did this painting, I had just been using oil paints and acrylics. Now, traditional um, thoughts about these type mediums is oils and acrylics are opaque mediums, watercolor is transparent and the two shall never meet. I also created a course called uh, Learn to Paint with Impact where I have all my fundamental lessons about good strong painting. And uh, many people would say to me, uh, Malcolm, I'd love to do your course, but it's oil paints. And I do watercolor, so sorry, it's not relevant to me. And, you know, I, I don't argue the, the point. I mean, everybody must do what they want to do. And that's it, you know, it's painting. Uh, have fun, learn whatever you feel you need to learn. And when I tell people, I did this painting behind me, this watercolor, using the principles of Learn to Paint with Impact, the course where I use oil paints to develop and instruct the lessons. So to cut a long story short, let's have a look at this painting and it's just a really made up scene. Uh, my wife came to me and she said she's got this frame, bought a standard frame at uh, one of the decor shops and said I need a picture, um, I think she was, she was doing some decorating, I need a picture, fill this up for me. And I didn't, we were on, away on the weekend, I didn't have my oil paints with me, it was a quick getaway and I just had some watercolors. So I did this little watercolor and she really liked it, popped it in a frame and there it is. And what is it really about? Um, just uh, someone walking down a street um, and with a sh strong shadow and that's it really. Very straightforward, something you can come up with in your imagination. So, watercolorists who are starting out and say to me, um, sorry, what you're teaching in your oil painting course has no relevance to me, I need watercolor. Watercolor course. Watercolor is totally different. Watercolor, watercolor is another creature. And I say to them, listen, this is painted with the same principles taught in my oil painting fundamental courses. And it comes down to color and light and dark, right? Color and values. That is what makes this painting work. Color, but most importantly, values, light and dark. And I teach the exact same things with oils and acrylics. So the point is, even if you are simply painting with watercolor, which is not a simple medium, but you can do watercolor effectively even with a very basic knowledge of painting. All right, so forget all the horror stories about watercolor being so difficult. Forget all the horror stories about if you're an oil painter, you don't know watercolor. If you're a watercolorist, oil painting is evil. It's not the case. We're using the same principles. All right, it's composition, it's drawing, it is shapes, it's light and dark and warm and cool color. It applies to watercolor and oils, doesn't matter. So I'm using this idea of applying these basic, very basic foundation principles to this course as well. 
And if you grasp these basic foundations, you will never be afraid of any mediums. In fact, fear has no place in painting. You'll be able to paint confidently and create effective and strong paintings in watercolor or oils. The truth is, when people say, I don't want to learn about what you're teaching in this course because it's or, or another course or any course because you're using oils or using acrylics, what they're really saying is, I don't want to look silly, okay? I don't want to do something and make myself look stupid. It's, most of the time it's just fear of making mistakes. And we've got to get past that because what we're doing here is creating and painting. Fear has nothing to do with it. So I want you to open up your mind and just explore the possibilities of any medium simply by using the fundamentals of lights and darks and warms and cools. Okay. There is one major difference with watercolor. We are going to the same destination, but we're using a different route. All right, with oils and acrylics in general, you start with darks and you work towards the, the lights. With watercolor, I'm starting with the lights and I'm moving to the darks. The end result, pretty much the same thing. Strong painting with good light and dark contrast and warm and cool color. That's it. The other myth or the other story that and there are still people who, who say this and they suggest that watercolor paintings are just tissue box things. They are wishy-washy, weak. It's all light little transparent pastels. That is not true. You can definitely paint that if you want, but who wants that? The idea that watercolor has to be all soft and gentle and wishy-washy, I just threw that straight out the window. I can paint watercolor and get strong, impactful paintings using lights and dark and warm and cool color and amazing effects. So. I have no trouble painting with watercolor, even though professionally I mostly paint with oils. Watercolor gives me the same punch that I'm looking for. I don't want a weak painting. I teach people how to paint impactful, strong and exciting paintings. Anyway, I hope that this maybe has dispelled a few old myths and um, a few old ideas that don't belong in painting anymore. So. We're just going to learn how to paint strong, impactful painting using watercolors and pastels.